Hey YouTube. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about God. And I know I don't really do videos about God and who God is. Because honestly, I really don't know. But today, I was, um, I was thinking, why isn't stuff working out? I've been doing these things for different saints, for my spirits, for my guerreros, well, doing stuff with my guerreros, with my spirits, and with saints. Trying to get clients and trying to to um, do certain things, and I'm sitting down and I'm sitting, I'm sitting down and I'm meditating. I had some incense going, a candle lit, of course, and I'm meditating in front of my like a de cobre, my blessed virgin, sitting down. And what came to my head was God. A lot of people that mess with this religion, dabble in it, or do any type of a Risha worship on YouTube, they go and they say the Orishas are gods. And the Orishas are this. Fine. I don't put down your belief. But in my house, in many houses, the Orishas are not gods. The Orishas are ancestral spirits that God has given a crown to. God has made king and God has given supernatural powers too. They're human just like us. If you ever read their stories, you see their pain, their suffering, and their, their heartbreaks. That's why a lot of people are attracted to this religion. Because the deities are just like humans. But the deities were humans. They were just given a crown. And what a lot of people don't know... That praying to God sometimes is amazing. And sitting back and asking God to just clear your roads will help so much. I was watching this video yesterday. I forgot his name. He's a hoodoo worker. And he was talking the similar thing. He mentioned this that actually stood in my head. Back in old times, your when your great grandparents were alive, they didn't have as much worries as the newer generation did and everybody did. Why is that? Because they always had prayer, they always had God, they were always close to God. No matter what. In the religion, we call God Olo, uh, um, Olodumare. There's three forms of him. Olodumare, which, how I was taught, he's considered the God, the, the Father. Olofi, which is considered the Son. And Olodum, which is considered the Holy Spirit. All one, but just different paths. Just like the Arisha. And I sat back and I'm like, what can I do for God? What can I do? Do I sit and light candles to God? Oh no, maybe I sit and I light incense for God. I put flowers for God.
but no. God just wants your prayers, and God just wants to hear you. And a lot of people are turned off about this assumption of God. Well, not assumption, but people are turned off about God for the simple fact that these Christians, these these Christians, um, these Muslims, and these Jewish made God seem like a hateful person. But God isn't hateful. God is re really, really loving. No matter what you call him, he is still God. He is in the heart of every human being. And he will always be there for you in the time of your need. So guys... Sit back, sit down one day, or get on your knees, and ask God to help you. Instead of going and doing some spiritual work, instead of lighting a candle, or um, doing this for the Orishas, or doing this for a saint, or doing this or that, instead of doing all that, just ask God for your help. For his help. And he will help you. So that's my little rant. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you and God bless.